YouTube, right down the station here. I promised you I'd tell you about my poltergeist, so I am. Um, I haven't talked to her lately via Ouija board. Um, and I don't know why. I think it's just because we have a lack of people coming over. Or she just doesn't want to talk. But I will share with you what I've learned about her so far. The first thing I ended up learning about is the fact that the reason why she's here is because she wants me to be sad. And that would make her happy. She told us this by using the sun and the moon on the Ouija board. Yes, sad and happy, you know? I also figured that love would be her weakness because it was spelled out on the board twice by her and a different ghost that we we're talking, talking to named Sam. So, it had something to do with sadness and love. Holy crap. The scary part about this ghost, her name is Mazum. I saw her in a dream about sometime in my junior year. And I've never told anyone this dream. And I'm not going to share it with you because only my friends know it. <gasps> what? Okay. Um... But Shmoo had a dream with her in it. She drew Mazum, and I recognized her, even though she wasn't colored. Basically, she looks exactly like me, only with blood red hair, pale skin, dried blood stains all over her, and her she has no arms and no legs. Her arms kind of fade out into being invisible. I mean, they're there. She can grab stuff, I'm sure, but they kind of... And then her legs do about above the knee. Here comes the creepy part. I know what you're thinking. How can seeing the same ghost in the dream not be the creepy part? So one night we were doing the Ouija board and I had our friend Emma with us. And so she decided to ask Mazum, did you know Kara from a past life? And to my surprise, she said yes. And apparently I've had five past lives, and Mazum knows me from the third one. Apparently, she was my twin sister in 1465 in Panama, South America. Random. My name was Ren back then, I guess, and I was about 17 when I was forced to marry this guy named Nornis, who was like 34 or 36, I don't remember what the board said. And I didn't love this guy, but Mazum did, so... You know, she was jealous. Emma asked Mazum if she killed me, and she said yes. So he asked how, and she said she bludgeoned me to death. So yay, I was beaten to death, which explains the blood stains all over Mazum's body. Um, so she killed me. She did not kill Nornis, I already asked that. And then, since malaria was a huge thing in the 1400s, Mazum died of malaria, but she died a very vengeful ghost. So, um, here she is trying to kill me again. She's already been with me for eight years, which explains a lot because that was the time during my mom started abusing me, I started getting into relationships, and things started basically going downhill. But the only way Mazum is to get me is if I were sad, and what would make me sad is a certain someone, I'm not going to mention who, being jealous. I've tried to ask her more questions, but apparently there's a rule in the spirit world that you can't tell someone too much. And she was going to tell me, but she was Poltergeist Z, which came from a completely different reason that I won't even go into, stopped her from moving the, uh, the little thing that I use. Now, I asked Mazum why she had no arms or legs, and the reason being is because she's stuck in my back, basically. How I know this, that she's in my back, not only because she told me, but in my dream, I had died, I'm not gonna tell details, I had died, I had fallen face down, and she had risen out of my back. I know, mystical, right? Yeah, well... <laughs> she's stuck. So, she could be with me right now. I don't know if she can get out, 
or she's bound to me or something. I don't know. I can't see her. I can't see spirits. I have low, low spiritual energy. I always have to have Shmoo doing the Ouija board because otherwise it won't move. And I know she's not moving it because she cannot spell Panama. Long story short, 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 ghost trying to kill me, ghost will fail because I'm happy. <laughs> um, Ruthie made me a candy. It's a star plexus. And she was afraid it wasn't going to fit my wrist, but I've got tiny wrists. And on to another thing. I'm debating on who to be for Halloween. Um, I had three ideas. One is I could either be Konata from Lucky Star, which would mean me buying a very long blue wig. Two, I could be Virgil, which I thought I would have to buy a wig, but with this hairstyle, I can slick my hair back, and even though it's not white, it's the style. Three, an anime version of the companion cube. <laughs> That'd be cute. One last thing before I go. Um, I already made Ruthie a little penguin. Uh, a stuffed animal penguin. But I have been wanting to make her something else, and I don't know what to make her. Um, it's, it's eluding me. Um, so I want people to suggest things to me in a private message, just in case she ever sees this video by some chance, per se. Um, so yeah, give me ideas of what to make her. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go do some video requests now, and uh, play Castlevania. Alright, bye! Be Bye, be. I almost forgot to say it. Ha ha! Da 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 da! Ha! Hello. Hello.